Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Coffee with Casey. Take a little time every, every week, go over the topics of the day, the market conditions, um, are they deteriorating? What are interest rates doing? What's inflation doing? How's it reacting to the market? What new things do we have to do to our listings? All these great things. So, so let's let's get down with what our main topic is going to be today, and that is, you know, we were lucky that for two and a half years we really didn't have any home inspections. So now, as the market tightens, as the market leaves this seventy-eight percent homes under contract. So now currently 43% of homes under contract. It goes from a massive seller's market back to a neutral market on its way to a buyer's market, okay? So when there's a buyer's market, you're gonna see a lot more requests for home inspections. So just to tell you that home inspections can kick out 25 to 35% of contracts. And, you know, um, you know, God bless them. A home inspector uh, has gone from somebody that shows you um, how a home functions to attacking the home and trying to extort money from sellers. So um, in most cases, they scare the heck out of the buyer and the buyer just walks away. So, so there is a kickout rate that we're trying to avoid when you are listing a house. Okay, nobody, nobody wants that. We want to make sure that the homes are in good condition, that they can pass an inspection. So what we've done now, we have a, a thing called a gold standard, right? So when a realtor calls us, they say, hey, you got any you know, good listings coming up, which means that's a gold standard listing. And a gold standard listing means this, that we've prepared it appropriately. This is, the sellers have done exactly what we've asked or prepared the home prior to us coming in. And the home is acceptable to nine out of 10 buyers as far as the, the way it's prepared. And then it's pricing. So we price the house. We do the best job we can to price that house. Then we test the price. And after we've tested the price, we're really locked in on what that real list price should be. So we test it during coming soon. We do a predictive analysis. We launch that listing at the correct price. Now, to us, that is a gold standard listing. It's been prepared correctly. It's been priced correctly. These are all things that the seller needs to cooperate with. And of course, our marketing is the same no matter what the house is. So, so by telling a realtor that we have a gold standard listing, they know, okay, it's prepared correctly, it's priced right, it's going to sell in the first weekend, we need to get ready, we need to be able to compete for this house. Gold standard listings have the least amount of inspections, which is our goal. Now, at the mastermind meeting, um, we were... Uh, for Samson Properties. And these are all the realtors that do over $10 million, very active realtors, very good uh, feedback. Everybody works together. The conversation came up about pre-listing inspections, which we have not had to do for a long time. And, um, and I don't like pre-inspection listing, uh, pre-list, uh, pre-listing inspections. I, I just, to be honest with you, I don't like them. They do a full inspection. They find 28 things. You fix 28 things and then it gets a home inspection and they find another 28 things. You got to fix those too. Well, I don't, I don't, I really have never been a fan of uh, a pre-inspection. Okay. However, it is becoming more important now that when we add to our gold standard, that we're going to add a pre-inspection with our inspector who can get into a house and I don't want a full uh, inspection. I, you know, um, there are people that say, I'll do a pre-listing inspection and they do you know, the 27 items. And I don't want that. We don't want that. There are some things I'm not concerned about. There's some things buyers aren't concerned about. I say this in the best manner. A, when you're coaching football, a referee thinks the game is all about them, is all about the referee. And inspectors sometimes think it's all about the inspection. It's not all about the inspection. We're just... That's a small part of it, but they, they blow it up and we don't want that. We want to control the inspection, right? So we have a good inspector and that inspector, um, and I'll just say, you know, we use people like Bob Lamb and we, what we do is, and are starting to do is a six point inspection, right? So uh, Bob's going to send up a drone and he's going to check the roof, right? We're going to make sure the roof is going to pass inspection. We don't have any problems with that. He's going to check the HVAC units. 
put a date on those HVAC units. So we're really clear on what we're saying. He's going to test them, make sure they're in good working condition. He's going to look at the electrical work. He's going to pull the electrical panel to make sure that we're going to pass an electrical inspection. He's going to look at the plumbing. He's going to look at the foundation. These are the six main things that buyers are concerned about. He's going to look at the foundation, right? Does the foundation have any major cracks? I can't tell you how many. So it may be one in 500 homes may have a foundation issue. Um, but that's the number one concern of most buyers is, is this house going to fall down? Even though it's a 50-year-old house, this house is going to fall down. So, so those six points, we're going to check the six points. Now, along with the, uh, the sixth point is most important, in my opinion, and that is moisture and mold, right? So he's going to go around with a moisture meter and make sure there's no moisture in the basement. Now, if we're going to find out anything, we need to know about it ourselves. We need to be tipped off because when a buyer comes in, a seller, could, you know, and, and if, if that is, if their inspector puts a moisture meter on that wall, says, oh my gosh, there's moisture in there. You know what that means? Mold. You got mold. There's mold in this house. That stuff can kill you. Right. See what I'm talking about? That's what actually happens. So what we need to do is if there is some moisture, there are remedies for getting the moisture away from the house. All of the moisture comes when the rain comes down, it doesn't properly move away from the house. So gutters are cleaned, downspouts are clean, downspouts have at least six feet of runway where that water is leaving the house. Where is it going to? It's not puddling around the foundation. So we can move the water away from the house, reduce that moisture meter, so in other words, if we do it, it's gonna be an easy fix. If they find it, let me give you a perfect example. We had a house and this was when everybody was buying, no inspections. This was the only inspection we had because contract one kicked out, here comes contract two with a home inspector. So we do a home inspection, they find out that the drainage is coming down and creating soft walls, right? There is moisture behind that wall. Buyer walks, seller loses about $75,000, right? So if we find out about this beforehand, if we find out that there's no moisture on the walls and you know we can fix this ourselves, do it before you get the listing going. And then, so if, if Bob finds something or, or your inspector finds something, then you can fix it. And you can make sure that it's clear and we can have a clear bill of health. And when we say this listing is a gold standard listing, it has been prepared correctly, it has been priced correctly, it has been inspected correctly, right? So um, what we do like to do is we like to have our sellers prepare a book, right? A three ring binder. Why a three ring binder? Because they're big, right? I think they're big a three ring binder. So you put all the documents in there, every warranty, inspection, anything you put in the house, the bigger the book, the better it looks. And if there are dividers in there, it looks like you're the most organized seller of all time. Now, most of our sellers are extremely organized and detail oriented. So it's very easy for them to do. Most of them have already done it, but I wanted a three ring binder because I want it to be sticking out like a sore thumb in a house that look at how well maintained this house is. On top of that book will be our pre-inspection. We'll say, we've had a drone up on the roof. We've checked the inspection, the uh, electrical. You're not gonna burn, the house is not gonna burn down. We checked the plumbing, there's no leaking going on. We checked the moisture and the, and the mold. There's nothing going on there. And we know the identities of the HVAC units. So now we have a listing that's prepared correctly, priced correctly, inspected, and the main six concerns that most buyers have of roof, HVAC, electrical, plumbing, mold and moisture, right, and foundation. Those are the six main characters. So um, contractors are contractors. There's nothing against them. It's just um, uh, an inspector wants to do 
16 to 20 things on your house. I don't want them doing 16 to 20 things on the house. I don't need them to blow the vents. I get it. If they want vents blown, they can blow vents. I don't want them to put a, um, um, a um, uh, whatever you got, a camera down our thing and find something in the, in the um, sewer system down the road. I don't want any of that. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking to make the buyers feel comfortable enough that they will waive a home inspection or they feel comfortable enough that they don't need to do a full blown nitty picky, you know, deal blowing home inspection. So, you know, if we, um, um, if we can do that inspection with, and, and again, the cost is pretty, is pretty low. I mean, it's not a massive expense. You know, for under a million dollars, it's going to be about 300 bucks. For over a million dollars, it's going to be about 350. For a big boy, a, a 1.5 plus, it's going to be 450. But I will tell you that, you know, there, it could save you a minimum, a minimum of five to $10,000. And if a contract kicks out and you have to go back onto the market, you could lose $50,000, $70,000. So what we need to do, and, and again, I guess, I guess this is a, this is in response. First of all, it, it is wonderful to have Samson Properties Mastermind uh, group together where all of us, all of the top producing agents can give their opinions and we all share the same opinion, but can discuss the topics of the day, the market condition. Sarah Mormon from Samson Properties does an incredible job of keeping that group going and keeping the conversation moving and keeping the hot topics up. So, you know, she does this for all the groups at Samson Properties and it's a huge benefit for uh, a top producer to talk to other top producers. And what is, what is everybody doing? What are the great ideas? And, you know, the inspection idea comes back up now that we are, you know, in more of a buyer's market. We're going to be seeing more of them. This is a preventative um, a preventative measure to make sure that we can move on with what we do. So, so what does that mean? Um, this inspection is easy. It's quick. It tips us off. If something's broken or wrong, we need to fix it. We need to fix it before anybody else finds out about it. Somebody's going to find out about it. And to be honest with you, if a seller's hiding something, we don't want the listing anyways. I, I, to be honest with you, we say the best listing is the one you don't take, right? Most of these homes are in wonderful condition. They're in great shape. You know, we just want to make sure that we've checked all the boxes, that everything's been looked at. If something is broken, we'll fix it. If anything's old, we'll disclose it. That will be represented in the price. And this is this is really um, trying to give um, more confidence to the buyer and their agent, right? That um, that this home doesn't really need a home inspection. So if you're fighting with another uh, person to buy this house you'll feel more comfortable that you don't need to do that. You can, you can remove that. So um, I want people to feel comfortable buying our homes, buying our listings. I want them to know it's a gold standard. Before they drive out from Arlington, I want them to know this is a gold standard listing. So let's go over just briefly, I've got some time and I hope, hope I've covered the, the home inspection issues and the pre-listing home inspection, six items. All of them will be written down. There will be a caveat because they don't, you know, this inspection is not a to the standards uh, because they haven't done all of the inspection, but what they have inspected are to their standards. Um, and it will be presented via PDF to, to all buyers, right? So, so let's go back and find out what the other elements of a gold standard listing and why do we need a gold standard listing? Well, right now, 43% of the homes in Fairfax County are under contract. So that tells me that 57% of the homes are not under contract. I can tell you, we used to pull withdrawn and expired listings, there would be two. Now there's 120, right? So, so people are failing to sell their homes. They're failing to sell for multiple reasons. It's overpriced, it's underprepared, maybe it's got problems, or maybe it's got road issues they haven't accounted for. So we need to be more diligent. Now, for the last two and a half years, our focus has been on finding the buyer pool that has the, the people that will pay the most money for the house, getting his, a pricing, doing a predictive analysis, 
to make sure we get as we are at the right price level. We can get as many people in and we can bid it out, right? And get the highest number. So our, our focus has been the highest number, right? Well, still the highest number, but we have to go back and we have to check more boxes now, right? We have to give buyers and their agents assurance that this is this has met all the high standards of of our listings. And by the way, I want to I want to thank uh, Real Producers. Um, Real Producers is a magazine for the top producers in in uh, Northern Virginia. There's Northern Virginia Real Producers. They're nationwide. But the Northern Virginia top producers have acknowledged um, a bunch of legends and blah, 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 blah. I think that means we're old, right? So they were nice enough to acknowledge me in there. And, and I want to tell you, it's, um, it's kind of humbling. Um, on one side, it's humbling for them to uh, say nice things about you. And um, I hope it gives sellers confidence that we know what we're doing. Um, on the other hand, I just feel old. It makes me feel old, you know? So, um, but the good part about it is, and I tell this to all older realtors or legends, if you look at the people that are very successful, they may be a more mature lead agent, but they have a lot of young people there. And young people are very adept at knowing the latest styles and fashions and the way to prepare homes and what buyers are looking for and you know the linear lines and the transitional look and what makes them modern and you know the new marketing techniques that are coming out the social media the instagram you know all this social. so so there's always a younger person sitting next to me and and they're the ones that take the team into 2022 they're they're just phenomenal right so it may say you know casey sam's legend is a team right the team is what makes us legendary. And I will tell you, there are some other agents on that, in that uh, group that I don't think do as well. And I, I'll tell you why I don't think they do as well because they've been doing something for a long time and they're still doing 1980s and 1990s real estate in 2022. I think times have passed them by. Their days on market are 120 or 140 and they're not four. Well, the difference is I, as a 64 year old, may not see the what needs to be done preparing that house, right? If I didn't have Morgan or Kelly or Billy or, or um, Colby really working feverishly on what, how to prepare a house, I may look at that and go, looks fine to me. Well, I've said that before and Morgan has said, absolutely not, it's not fine. We're not selling it like this. It's not gonna picture well. And they're right all the time, right? So I'm not blaming the older realtors, I'm just saying that unless they have a that newer taste, that newer feel, that newer look and what's hip, they're going to say it looks okay to me. Now, I'm a pricing expert and nothing's going to escape me. I'm a marketing expert and nothing's going to escape me. But the pr preparation of the home is 100% critical. I'll tell you why. My marketing is directed at people that are not living in this town, right? If people are living in the town and looking in the town, they're already gonna see all your stuff. Don't gotta work to get them, they're right there. As Soon as you hit the button and add a listing, they're gonna see everything, like that. I'm going after people that are in Arlington or Alexandria or McLean or you know, looking somewhere other than where I'm listing a house. If I'm listing a house in Centerville, you know, that house may be $900,000, but in Vienna, a house is $1.2 million. So what if you take that $900,000 listing and you market it to the people looking in Vienna? There's multiple ways of doing that. And I can tell you that um, there's a big hand in this to you know Julie and, and the people on our team that are young and know how these new marketing techniques work. Not that I'm an idiot, but you know they turn you on to things and that sparks the team and makes them even better. So, so as far as the marketing is concerned, that's it. But let's go to a gold standard. I want to make people feel if you're going to get in your car and you're going to drive out from Arlington or Alexandria, you need to know that this is a gold standard home. It meets all of the preparation and pricing standards of our team. And our team is doing, they're going to do $150 million. They'll sell an average of four or five days. The gold standard listings, four or five days. 
no problem. They're going to get 100, 150,000 over list price. That's the average. I think it's 147, right? So, so we need to let people feel sure that we're in the 43%, not in the 57%. We need to be assured that, that this listing is worth what I say it's worth. I can prove it. And, and I will tell you, I just had a show last week on defending the price. And when somebody comes to our home, they're going to A, see that it's in great shape. So they're not wasting their time. And B, they're going to know it's priced correctly and I can prove it. Now, a lot of agents are saying, this is really worth 1.5 million and the buyer's going to offer them 1.4 million. So the, 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 the selling agent doesn't want to anger their buyers by contradicting them, but I will. I mean, I'll come in and say, look, not only is it worth 1.5 million, but it's got these different upgrades and, and buyers should be bidding on those upgrades. So, so I will prove the price to the buyer. I don't need the seller or aging having to do it. They're not trying to beat us down. They're, they're trying to be realistic. They want the deal. The buyer is trying to beat you down. So, so when I say a gold standard, it is price, it is prepared correctly. The, all the pictures have been taken with flame and photography. It looks great. The custom website has been built. Julie is going to get 30 to 40,000 people seeing these listings every month. And they will in turn go to the website and come see our houses. So that's kind of a lockdown. The home is prepared correctly. Now, what's the difference between a gold standard and not a gold standard? Uh, I think this house really needs paint. No, I think the yellow paint is fine. Mm. The people that do paint it and put it in proper condition and it looks correct, that's a gold standard. If somebody's going to launch a house and they don't want to prepare the house, that's not a gold standard house. I'm not putting my, I'm not putting, um, you know, gold standard label on that because because then there's no credibility in the gold standard, right? Some people want to price houses higher. That's fine. I'll do that. You want to do that? That's fine. It's not a gold standard house. I'm not going to validate this number. I'm not going to say it's bad. I'm not going to say it's. I'm just going to. I'll defend the best I can, but. Agents have got to be able to trust us. Buyers need to trust us. And the home needs to be prepared correctly. It needs to be priced correctly. That's 90% of our listings, right? 90% of our listings, sellers are asking us what to do and doing what we say and, and work, we work together. This is, a, um, this is a team that we're doing. Um, other sellers will tell you what to do and tell you what to price it and not going to do that. Um, in many cases, we don't take that listing because if we have bad listings all over the place, then people aren't going to trust us. Now, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. So I'm driving down a new home, guy's selling it himself, a, a, a builder selling it himself. We walk in the house, we go look at the house, they ask us if we would take the listing. And we said, absolutely, under no circumstances would we list that house. Right? Very poor construction. Very dysfunctional house. Horrible lot. Fast road in front. Adam's family behind you. No deck. No, it was it was a horrible home. We would not list that home. Why? Because I'm not gonna put my name on a house. We're not gonna put our reputation. Every time we list a house, our reputation's at stake, right? So so when you look at a house, you have to say, okay, this agent, if they put their name on this house, it's correctly prepared, correctly priced and, and, and has been inspected, period. I can trust them. 43% are gonna sell, 57% are not gonna sell. Um, a lot of the withdrawn and expired, um, you know, we're starting to meet with the uh, withdrawn listings right now. I'm going into one house where it was listed for 850, it should have been listed for 799 um very simple if, if the agent had done a predictive analysis in the coming soon he would have seen that that market isn't there and he could have moved before he listed the house unfortunately he did not 99 percent of the realtors do not do that you have to do that in order to authenticate your pricing you have to test the buyer pool you have to make sure you're there so so you're going to start hearing more about the gold standard. Why? Because before you didn't need it, now you really do. Now you need to stand out. So that's a part of the evolution of the market. We need to 
avoid home inspection. We need to stand out out of the 43% that are under contract. We need to make sure that we don't, you know, we need to make sure that we can get traffic flow in that house, that we can get bidding going on, that the price will go up and the home will sell quickly without home inspection. That's our job. That's what we do. So, so start looking for more of the cold gold standard. I hope this has helped the realtors, the Samson property uh, agents that are nice enough to, to uh, tune into this. Um, you can thank uh, Sarah and the masterminds at Samson Properties for this, this concept. This, I know people do pre-listings, but I'm just telling you, the key is not doing a pre-inspection for your listing. The key is only doing what's important, right? Do not do a 16-point inspection and fix 45 items when you can just check the, the main things and escape the inspection. And that way you don't have to do all the petty little nuisance things that buyers are looking for. So, so again, I don't want to take credit. There's, there's um, in order to, for them to say nice things about you in magazines and newspapers and things like that, this massive team is behind of Julie, uh, who's been with me now for 14 years, Michelle, and Sharon are all in the, in the back room working as hard as they can. And the agents that are just magnificent, Morgan and Colby and Kelly and Pat and Billy and, um, and Pam, um, or did I miss anybody, Pat? Did I say Pat? Or, you know, do just such a spectacular job. So um, I just get to put my name on things. So if you're looking for any help in Northern Virginia, if you're listing or buying, give us a call at 703-508. 2535. If you have friends or family or business associates, please don't let them run in front of the bus. Because in this real estate market, you're either driving the bus or you're going to be hit by the bus. And with hundreds of thousands of dollars at stake, you really need to be driving the bus. So have them give me a call, 703 508 2535. My name is Casey Sampson, and you can reach me at Casey at CaseySampson.com. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you guys again next week. Bye now.